Hi everybody, Andrew Maeski here with Dental L. So I went to the dollar store today and I picked up a bunch of stuff that I will be using for my practice. And I actually watched those YouTube videos where people who go to the dollar store, like what they buy, if they go, you know, like their cleaning supplies, their subscription boxes. I don't know. I just like seeing things like that. So then I thought, well, why don't I do a dollar store U-Haul? Because not a lot of people realize that you can get some pretty incredible things at the dollar store that you can use in your own practice to make your life so much easier. So let me just kind of share with you what that is. So I just kind of threw everything in this box. I do actually have another storage container that I'll show you guys first. But so mainly from the dollar store, what I get are storage containers because being a mobile dental hygienist, I can never seem to have enough storage containers. So as an example, I bought this one with a lid. So it was $4, you guys, $4. If you go to a dental company, they do sell storage containers too, but I can guarantee you something like this would be like 80 bucks. And yes, it's probably better made than the dollar store, but I don't need an $80 storage container with a lid. This was $4 from the dollar store, and it has a lid with the handle, okay? So you might be wondering, what am I going to use this for? So when I see children, so once again, you guys, as you probably know at this point, but I feel like I have to keep on mentioning it just in case somebody doesn't realize what I do. So I am a mobile dental hygienist. So I don't have a physical location yet. So I go to patients' houses. So I try to carry the least amount of things possible depending on what I'm doing. So this, I'm thinking, so I'm still not completely sure yet, but I'm thinking I might put my piezo in here along with like my piezo tips, um, my piezo hand pieces, probably my chlorhexidine like bottles, you know, things that I would be using for those deeper cleaning appointments. Um, just to kind of keep things organized because I feel like I still have to work on that where I'll be going to a, um, a patient's house and I'm bringing in almost everything just in case I need it. And that piezo is one of them where if I can just leave that inside the car perhaps, or just take this, you know, hold this, it would just be so much easier. Now, another thing that I thought to use this for would be when I see kids. So I see a lot of kids for appointments where I'm doing a cleaning, a checkup, a, um, applying silver um, diamine fluoride, and then I can also place temporary um, Fuji as well if I'm going to cover up those black spots from the silver diamine fluoride because I have been a restorative hygienist for the past five years now, so I am able to do that. So in case you're watching this and thinking, wait a minute, you're placing fillings, no, no, no. I can do that as a restorative hygienist, um, but what I can do to mix up those um, Fuji capsules is I need the amalgamator or the triturator, if I'm saying that properly. Um, I can put that in here along with um, the Fuji um, capsules. I can put in like kids toys, kids stickers, kids toothbrushes, so specific to kids. Okay, so I, I could use this for so many things. I probably should have bought another one. The best thing about it is it has a lid with a handle. Okay, so sorry, enough talking about that. Whoops, as I just throw it down. I bought file folders. So I need portable file folders for many things. So I just bought two and these were, um, I think this was $2 and this one was $2.50. So this has 12 um, different folders. This has only seven. So I thought for this one, I could use this for the insurance checks that come in and to also um, remind myself in August to you know catch up with this patient, this patient, and this patient where the insurance money should be coming in. Because now I do do direct billing, but that also means it literally takes sometimes two months to get paid but I usually follow up with my patients about two weeks afterwards because what I've been finding is a lot of that insurance money that should be coming to me because yes, the patient signed that one spot that says payment 
goes to your dental hygienist, but insurance still is not doing that. They are paying the patient. So I just ask them in about two weeks, you know, oh, did you get an insurance, you know, check yet? Or did it go into your bank account? Please have a look for me. And then they always say yes, like 80% of the time, 85%. And then they just send it to me. So this one is with the 12 folders. So I'm going to do it per month. And any insurance check that I, I uh, receive, I'm going to put in there, plus the different claim forms that I might be getting from insurance companies like per month. And then I will also be like leaving a little sticky note to say, make sure to follow up with this patient, this patient, this patient, uh, because you should be getting paid this month. Now, what I do is if a patient wants me to um, direct bill, I do ask for a credit card to put on file. And if I'm not paid, from the insurance company within 40 days, I take out that full amount from their credit card. I do ask them first, but that usually means that the insurance has paid the patient and they just haven't noticed. So just a little tip for you guys. This file folder that I have with seven, I'm thinking to put things in there like, um, cause it came with um, alphabetical, stickers where did those go I swear I just had them so I probably just put them down somewhere sorry guys anyways it came with like alphabetical like stickers so I'm thinking about putting um, patients charts in here because I do still have paper um, medical and dental history plus if they give me anything like if they give me their um, a copy of their insurance card or a copy of claim forms I will put them in here but I might need a bigger one so I haven't really decided completely yet Okay, so another thing that I bought, which I just realized, it starts August, so next month. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of all of my patients in here because you are supposed to have a, a overall master copy. Um, I do use um, Google calendars on my cell phone for my patients, but you, you still need a master copy. So this way I can also put everything in here. So in the event um, I get audited, knock on wood, but I will have everything here to show them what they need. So that's what I'm using this for. It's nice and tiny so that I can bring it with me. Plus I feel it just looks more professional than if a patient wants to book their next um, appointment. I take out my cell phone and say, okay, well, let me see. There's nothing wrong with that, but I just, I don't want them to thinking that I'm just looking at something else. I can take out my, my um, appointment book um, agenda instead and just kind of look through it that way. So just kind of something that I decided to do and it's nice and tiny. So, and I like having paper too. Another thing that I have noticed that I need is a notebook. So just to quickly mark things down. Like I had a patient the other day tell me like, oh, um, um, what was I doing? I was looking at um, his daughter's teeth and he wanted me to tell him how many different cavities she had. And then I would submit a, a predetermination to the insurance company. But then I thought, okay, let me just grab a piece of paper quickly. Well, I didn't have one. As silly as that sounds, I didn't have one because I'm so so digital with so many things, but it would just help to have a quick notebook. Or if I'm doing math in my head to try to figure out how much um, a patient owes, instead of using like a bunch of little pieces of paper, which I would normally do, and then just throw them out, I can keep everything in here. So if I have to go back to it later, I might go, oh yeah, I did check the difference. Let me just check these pages here. Okay, here. So the difference is here. I don't know. Just helps to have a notebook. It was like a dollar fifty, you guys. That's it. Okay, everybody needs these. Check these out, you guys. Clearly, don't put them in the sterilizer. They are like a disinfecting only. But all of these nice colors, I like things to have color. But if you try to get like these things from like a dental supply company, you're going to be paying like twenty dollars for each one. For five of them, I paid. Shoot, I think I took off the label already. I think it was like $2. So you might be wondering, well, what are you going to put in there? So a perfect example is let's say I'm doing a whitening procedure on five, five different people. It's so hard to have 
five different trays and then just kind of put everything there because I like to like take things with me and move over to the patient because sometimes my, my table is like all the way over there and then I have to keep going back and forth and I don't want to bring the whole tray up to the patient. Well, if I can put like my, um, my gauze, um, the whitening syringe, um, you know, my micro brushes, whatever, um, in here, take it with me, and then there you go. I'm probably not explaining it very well, but this will help me so much, even when I see kids. Like, let's say I'm applying um, silver diamine fluoride and the table's all the way over there, but the kid just wants to sit on, on the couch. It happens. I can put in my bottle of silver diamine uh, uh, fluoride, I can put in a micro brush, I can put in a hand mirror, I can put in gauze, you know, whatever, and then just walk over there. It looks less intense than me bringing my whole tray to this little like six-year-old. I don't know. Things you learn as a mobile hygienist. This will help me so much. Even just things like putting your instruments, your, your package instruments in here. Let's say you want to keep all of your micro brushes in here with your articulating paper. I don't know. This, just so many different things to do. So put that over here now. Another thing that I did get. So I do see um, patients in my home sometimes if they just don't want me coming to them. It's just easier for them to come to me. I do have um, a little office set up upstairs for now, but it's just temporary because I am... Um, redoing a new space which will look amazing but i have cups so if you haven't heard me say this yet i don't like a lot of like plastic paper because you have to throw it out why not get reusable cups again different colors how cute is that and just leave them in your washroom obviously wash them after each use obviously um you know but why not right um, I would even probably disinfect them first and then wash them afterwards just to make sure. Even if you don't know if the patient touched any, any of them, do them anyway. So this is a cup for like mouthwash, water, whatever, right? Easy. Or you can, you can get like 80 plastic cups for like 20 bucks, but then you have to keep throwing them out. So I don't like throwing a lot of things out when I can not do that as much as possible, including in dental, I do try. Okay, what else did I get you guys? Okay, the dollar store has Sensodyne. As a mobile hygienist, I do like to have different types of um, toothpaste on hand so that if I'm seeing a new patient and I tell them, or um, I should say that they tell me that they have extreme cold sensitivity, I always recommend Sensodyne but they might not remember the name or they just might not have a chance to go to this to the store. But if I say, well, I actually have some and I just sell it to them at cost, so they're not paying anything more, just at cost of what I paid for it, here you go. Patients love that because they like just being like, oh, you have it with you? Oh, you're only charging me this much? Okay, well, that's the same price as, as if I were to go to the store. But when I go to the store, I'm probably not going to remember. So I like to have these on hand. I buy them from the dollar store. Same thing, so much cheaper. Another thing that I have for cleaning my instruments in the lab, um, for the like pre-cleaning, I use these. So I have some of these brushes. There's kind of like different types plus a toothbrush. Yes, just a normal toothbrush. This looks pretty intense. It's not something that I would use in my mouth, but to clean instruments, yes. So there you go. Let's see. Oh, and for the lab, since I had um, wrecked my last one, some utility gloves. Utility gloves. So I use these in my lab when I'm um, processing instruments. Plus, after I see a patient and I'm cleaning everything up, I'm I'm disinfecting everything, I put these on. And, and it's just so funny because um, I have patients say to me, like, why are you putting on those gloves? I say, well, these are like my utility gloves, we call them. You know, we need something a little bit thicker because if the instrument pokes me, it's a lot easier to poke me with those other gloves that I use inside your mouth, but it's a lot harder with these thicker ones. 
they go, oh, okay. And it's just nice to have a different color, right? These were 250. Okay, last but not least, well actually two other things. This, so kind of the same thing. So what I like to use for this is let's say I'm seeing a child. So I know I'm not going to need a, like a lot. I'll put in like a pouch of instruments. I'll put in um, like a toy or two for them to pick from, a toothbrush, toothpaste, um, a sticker, um, you know, just anything that I need in here. So I just have to walk out of the car and take this or take, you know, this. So I do have so many different options. Sometimes I feel like I need something a little bit taller. Like let's say I'm putting in the amalgamator, then I will use this because otherwise it's not going to fit in here, right? But if I don't need the amalgamator, then I will use this for like instruments to just kind of take with me. I could even, I wonder if this fits in there. Hey, that's not bad. So if I wanted to say, put something in here, but then I needed a lid, I can put one of these over top and put more, you know, things in here and then just take that. Pretty cool, right? So I love the dollar store. There's always so much for me to find. Like I have bought pens from there. I have bought like paper, like notebooks, and I kind of feel like I need more. But every time I go, I spend at least like $40, like just on odds and ends. So you guys, hope that helped. Let me know if you have any questions on my dollar store U-Haul, and I will see you guys in the next one.